Hi, dear black people, I wanted to ask you a question. Why are white people so racist anyways, most of the time? I I don't understand it. Let me let me let me give you examples, okay? Let me give you examples. These are real examples. So I I wanna know this. Okay, I wanna know this, uh oh dear white uh, dear dear black people. I personally am not even close to racist. I haven't even been a little bit racist in my life. I was born and raised to love everybody equally. However, in the last, it seems like in the last three years, the YouTube comments have been very racist towards black people. I don't understand it. I, I don't understand the, uh, the part where everybody's just so racist now. Like, like, it wasn't so bad before. Like, maybe when the old YouTube comment section you know, the N-word might have gotten blacked out automatically, or the or the, the, the other words might have been blocked out automatically, or people would have just spammed it and you would never see it. But now all the negative, all the comments are being shown. Maybe that's why I'm seeing so much racism now. I'm not exactly sure. There's a lot of racist people on here, on YouTube, and not just YouTube, in the real world, too. Let me give you an example. And this is a real example. These are... These are real examples of racism still. This world would be so much better if, if everybody just loved skin color. Skin color, oh my god, white, black, Mexican. Oh my god, oh my god, it's the skin color that makes you and say how your life is based on skin color. You're racially profiled based on skin color. I can be racially profiled in, in African countries. And uh, here, it's the opposite. You know, black people will get racially profiled here. I don't under fucking stand it. I don't under fucking stand it. Look, we all have our different kinks and, and, and stuff like that in in our races of white or black or, or Mexican or Asian and we all do our different things, but we're still human. Where does people where do people not get that that, that fact? Is that they're all human. I'm a human, the black people are humans, Asians are humans. Mexicans are humans, Latinos are humans. Why are people so fucking racist? Why? What, what do you get out of it? What do you get out of being racist towards black people? What do you get out of it? You know, it's 2014 now. I was raised in a family where we are not racist. We are not even close to a little bit racist. Not even a little bit. Where is your, where are you guys coming from? For what reason? For what reason that you hate on, on black people? Well, for, what, for what fucking reason? What do you get out of it though? Like, the, because of the color of skin? Skin. Did you know that my laptop is black? Did you know that my cell phone screen when turned off is black? The color of the skin, the pigment of the skin determines on how you live in this country. And it's a really sad fact. I'll give you more examples of racism. I've noticed this more here than I have noticed it in Texas. Okay. I see a BMW speeding down the 405 in Los Angeles. They're going maybe 90 miles an hour in a, in a 65. Cop. Literally. Just lets him do it. The cop literally lets him do it. It passes right by the cop going about 90 miles an hour, going 65, doing 95. They're white. Black person's doing the same thing. The cop turns their lights on. I've, I've seen so many examples of it. Uh, a white person's cutting lanes. Cop doesn't do anything. Black person's cutting lanes, cop pulls them over. Cop's white. Very racist in this fucking community. Um, this whole LA area is very racist towards African Americans, aka our black folks. And it's sad. Am I only the, am I only a few whites here in the United States that still care about black people genuinely? I don't care. I don't care if they're hood rats 
or or whatever you guys, the other white people like to call them. Hood rats. They're people. They're human beings. They might speak a little bit differently, but they're still human beings, and, and, and that's what it comes down to. You know, most black people are just trying to make a living here, okay? But because they're so degraded all the time, they're so hated on all the time, they build up anger, okay? They build up anger, they build up hostility sometimes because of the consistent racism. You know, if us white folks would shut the fuck up, they would shut the fuck up. It goes both ways. You treat others how you want to be treated. You be racist towards black people continuously, it's going to come back at you. Now, I think most black people are in jail not because they committed the crimes, because they give harsher sentences than white people do in most cases, especially in um, mid Midwestern states. I noticed that. I have noticed. I've watched enough freaking documentaries to see this. I've seen enough black people even commentate on it. Why they get put in jail a lot longer than the white people, but doing the same things, the same crimes, whether it be mild or moderate, or even bad, or even worse. I apologize to all the black people. I don't care. I don't care how many people disagree. Um, there's always race debates on these uh, on this uh, client of YouTube. There's always fucking race debates or racism and profiling. I don't understand it. I I'm sorry, but I I don't understand it. Because of skin color, they live so sometimes so badly here. And people say who have they have more rights than white people do. That's not even close to true. I can give you a thousand million examples. You want a thousand or you want a million? One example is, like I said, the police officers. They profile the black people. Uh, the police officers do profile the black people. In San Antonio, they profile other uh, white people a little bit. Notice that a little bit. Because they're Mexican police officers. They're, they're, they're American, but they're Mexican-American police officers. And they profile mostly um, white people. Prefer Mexican. Uh, and the thing is, it depends though. Most, most, most cops are very kind to white people. If you don't piss them off. Or if you're not fighting back with them. You know, the, most cops give the white people breaks. The black people, they do not get breaks most of the time from officers. Unless the officer is not racist, then they get the breaks. Uh, you know, like getting pulled over for a traffic ticket. Or, or, you know, you're speeding like 10 miles over. Most white people get a break. Uh, black people will not get a break. I don't understand what the... Why can't everybody be just treated equal? You know, why can't everybody give be given a chance? Most black people I know are very kind and sweethearted. And I even know people from the ghetto, or AKA the hood, and they're very kind and sweethearted. They are trying to make a living in this country, and it's very difficult for them to make a living in this country with the racism. It, it's, 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 look, would you, how would you like it if, I, I mean, even I know this, the European ancestors, you know, they took over the Native American land. I could understand the racism towards Native Americans too. This ain't just black people. The the my uncle was Native American, but he was never made fun of. Oh well, occasionally he was. He was back in school. He was made fun of. He was called a Bing Win Chief all the time, but nothing nothing major, major, major. Um, he was called a uh, Big Win Chief and uh, Big Win Chief. In other words, when he farted, kaboom. They called him the freaking windmaker, but um, other than that, it was not really too bad against Native. Of it was bad, but not as bad as it would be against uh, black people. My uncle did have some racial profiling occasionally because he was Native American, but other than that, he was treated as a uh, family throughout the city of San Antonio. 
He was one of the most well-known people in the city. When it comes to hospitality, kindness, caring, he definitely was. And he was probably one of the most known people when I say, we can go anywhere in San Antonio of over 2 million people. If we were on the north side, hey, is that you, James? Uh, south side, is that you, James? West side, is that you, James? What you doing out here on the west side? Is that you, James, on the east side? Everywhere we go, somebody knew him from somehow. Especially on the south side. So sweet! I do that because that's what we did in San Antonio. Anyways. Racism. White people need to slow the fuck out. And chill the fuck out. Why do you think black people hate us? I'd, I'd hate us too, man, if we were so fucking pissed on all the time. No wonder they get so, no wonder they get so mad. They're not mad because they're mad just be, to be mad. They're mad because they keep getting racially profiled all the fucking time. I'd be fucking tired of it too. I understand and compassionate with the freaking black people. But it's bullshit, dude. They don't deserve to be, they don't deserve to be racially profiled. Never. And so do the Native Americans. They don't deserve it either. In this country, the white people, I'm sorry, but the white people, in a way, are VIPs. I, especially rich white people, they're practically VIP. They're treated way differently than a, a black person. And, 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 and even though the racism is, is, is not quite as bad, you know, I get to see that I, I feel the anger that they feel, even though I'm not racist and or black. I, 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 I feel the, the extreme racism towards the African American community. It's 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 unbelievable. It's actually unbelievable how much hatred some white people have against black people for no reason. There's no reason to hate them. They say some people say that the black people bring the communities down. This is not true. That is not true. That is not freaking true. It's what you perceive as them doing something bad that brings the the community down. That is not true at all. Besides, they're scared to leave their own, you know, they're, they're scared. They don't, you know. Okay. A white person walks down the street. Nothing happens. Oh, but Lord forbid, ow, a black person walks down the street. Oh, Lord, here we go, here we go. I'm tired of hearing about racism. It is retarded. It's so fucking stupid. It's like, it's just stupid. I can't explain it. It's just stupid. What kind of backwards society do we live in where we have to degrade certain color and ethnicities of fucking human beings? What kind of backwards society do we live in where a human being is, tr is, is treated like shit because of the color of their skin even in today's world 2015 I thought we would have moved back I, I thought we would have moved on by now dear all black people regardless of where you're from even if you hate me because I'm white and or if you hate me because I made this video I respect you. I'm sorry that you had to go through all the shit that us white folks do. Um, and I am sorry to all the Native Americans that us white folks did to you. We apologize. I apologize on behalf of all the white people. And Mexicans, I'm sorry too that they did do that to you. They call you uh, really nasty names. You don't deserve it. You guys are, uh, most of the Mexicans work way harder than most of the white people. Just saying, as of this video, I just wish that um, I could speak clearly and more about it. But what happened, in, I, I, and I'm gonna say it, what happened in Ferguson, Missouri, was the fault of a um, a peace officer. I don't want to say who's who and and what what, 
what went on there because I don't have the video evidence. Unless I have the video evidence, or if I have the evidence presented in front of me, I can't say who's who. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I can understand why blacks do tend to riot when another black has been killed. It's because they are hated on every day of their lives by white people. We are not hated every day by black people. At least they don't show it publicly. Not every day. Okay? That's why they riot. When somebody gets hurt of their race. That's why they riot. They're tired of it. They're tired of it. They really are tired of it. They've been degraded on since at least the 18 to 1700s. They know this. So they have that inner anger. And I could completely understand it. The Native Americans do not do it because they're in their own, you know, they're in their own mind. They have different ways of coping, I suppose. Uh, you know, with the wind and stuff like that. They just have different ways of coping. I can understand that, I suppose. And, you know, I actually have Native American family that, um, that live in Tennessee with uh, white folks. And they're actually treated very kindly. Once you earn the respect uh, of, I guess, the people that live in the town, um, everything has gone smoothly. No one has bothered them. They never have bothered them. So, you know... It's it's whatever, but like I said, you guys have you guys have to learn to grow up when it comes to this racism thing. Um, you guys have to stop treating black people like that. You guys have to stop uh, stereotyping black people like that because it is wrong, and it's evil, and it's stupid, and 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 and, and it's just it, when it comes to cold turkey and this shit, it's retarded. It's 2015. Get with the program here. Okay? Everybody should have... E Everybody has equal rights. I, I, I'm just tired of seeing black people being so stereotyped. I'm, I'm tired of it. I'm a white dude and I, and I feel for them. I do feel the inner anger. I can, I can feel the inner... I'd be angry too almost all my life if I knew what happened in the past. I mean, I know some white people were slaves to black people. Big deal. But the majority is that the blacks were always treated like shit. And it's not fair to them. They didn't do anything wrong. When they grew up to be, when they were a child, they were innocent too, you know. Just because of the color of skin, people are so treated so fucking differently. Yet, what white people don't even realize is us white folks... Is that everything in your room is black. I, I have a soda can that has black on it. Are you racist towards the color? Yeah, it sounds pretty fucking stupid now, doesn't it? Oh, but when you use your cell phone, isn't that black? Isn't the screen off black? Fuck you. I'm sorry, uh, black folks. I really am. I'm so sorry. I know. I, I wish I could. I wish I could make some more friends here in LA. That would be lovely. Um, but as I said, I do apologize. And and I I really really would hope that they can make a law where if you treat a black person so badly, or if you treat a, a black person badly. You have to pay fines. Just large, large, large amounts of fines. And that goes towards the cities. Every time you say a racist word, it should... Well, I mean... The N-word should be banned in this country. It, it should actually be banned in this country. Honky should be banned in this country, too. I can say because I'm white. I don't want to say the N-word because I don't want to provoke or anger anybody. Or, you know, make people offended, but... Why people getting offended of that word is very unlikely. Um, but like I said, please stop being racist. If, if if you have anything left in your heart, mentally or physically, we do have clogged arteries though. 
Um, if you have anything left in your mind that can that can show compassion, you have to understand it and be in their shoes for a while to understand the inner anger that they have towards white people and why they feel hated on. They feel hated on every day of their lives. And because of this, this is why they become so violent. It's because they feel that they don't have an equal opportunity as white people do in this country. And in most part of it, it is true in some ways. If they were treated equally, we would not have a racial problem and or we would not... All the racists... You know, I know it's a free country, but all the racists should still be jailed and, and separated. Separated. Or even forced, or even forced together. Something. They, something needs to be done. Something, something dramatic needs to change here in this country so this racism will be shot down. There has to be a way. Black people wouldn't be so angry if they weren't so fucking degraded since they were a child. Or if they were told as a child not to do this to the police officers so the officers don't end up shooting them. It's just like the old days. It's like the 50s and 60s with technology today. They don't have that freedom anymore. Just try to go through what a black person goes through. Try to comprehend it. See what they go through every day. See what they, see what they are treated like compared to a white folks. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. This has been the Planet Earth here. This race of me. This this country would be so much better. As I look at the American flag. This country would be so much better without racism. This country would be the best country in the world without racism. As I look at that American flag. Thank you guys for watching.